Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an opt-in form inside of Kartra. That way you can start uh, generating leads and uh, collecting their information, so that way you can utilize it inside of your business. And simply put, to create an opt-in form, uh, pretty straightforward, over here on the left, go ahead and click where it says My Forms, okay? And this form here, uh, we're gonna be using, and if you've seen the previous videos in this series, where we're, again, we're walking you through step-by-step step exactly how to build an automated uh, funnel uh, for, your, for your business. And so what we wanna do is we're creating an opt-in form that people are gonna fill out the form to download our ebook, and then from there, they're gonna end up on the ebook download page, okay? So we need to set up a form for them to, so that way they can fill out their information, so that way we can, we can get that and add that to our CRM. And then from there, uh, they can move forward to that thank you page. And again, if you have not seen any of those videos, let's say this is the first one you're landing on, uh, you know, uh, and you wanna check out those step-by-step -step tutorials, there'll be links uh, below this video showing you exactly how to do everything we've done so far step-by-step. -step. Uh, but to create an opt-in form, all we gotta do is come over here to the Pulsating Plus for forms, and we're gonna name our form. And again, to keep things in line, you know, in previous videos, again, we created a couple of tags that we want to assign to leads um, that are taking this particular action. So we're gonna use the download ebook, okay? So we're gonna put that in here as well, downloaded ebook, okay? And I'm gonna click create. So that'll be the name of our form. And you know, and as you, you know, build your business, you might have multiple different eBooks, you might have multiple different uh, lead magnets that you're using. So you'd probably wanna use the name of the particular download there. But for our purposes here, you know, we don't have a ton of products and everything all set up just quite yet. So uh, you know, we could just put downloaded eBook as the name of this particular form. Um, or you can even use the, the website link, right, uh, which page it's actually on. You could use that as well for the form. Um, but here's the basic form builder. And again, we're going to go through these steps step by step. But the first step is to decide what are you going to ask for on your form. And, you know, bottom line is the more information that you ask for, the less likely somebody is to fill it out. So on most forms, this is kind of kind of kind of going to be the default where you're just asking for a first name and an email address. That's kind of the bare minimum. Um, you know, so you, you could go just email, but for me, I always prefer to at least get that first name just so that way if I send them future emails or as I send them future emails, I know their first name. So I can actually address the email to them as a person uh, versus just here's the email, right? So first name, email, typically the standard. Let's go ahead and leave it at that. But if I wanted to add more, you would just add new field and there's all kinds of uh, existing fields that you could use. If you wanna ask for their middle name, last name, you could ask for their phone number, okay? With or without the country code, their address. So again, depending on whatever it is you're offering, maybe you do wanna collect all that information. You know, if you're selling uh, insurance or something like that, you might want more information uh, from them before you'll consider them a lead. So this would be where you'd program all of that in. Okay, but again, for now, we're gonna keep this one simple, just first name and email. We'll click save right here. And then save and we're gonna to go to the next step, okay? Now you have the choice to make your form either single opt-in or double opt-in. With a single opt-in, what that means is that they fill it out, name and email, they click the button, and it's going to immediately move them onto the thank you page. If you use double opt-in, um, this adds an extra step. Um, so depending on whatever, whatever it is you're doing, you may wanna use double opt-in. It does strengthen the quality of your list because what'll happen is they fill out the form, click the button, but before they get the download, they're gonna have to go to their email and look for a confirmation email that'll come from Kartra, and then there's a button in there for them to click to confirm that they actually wanna be on this list. So they're taking that extra step to confirm does make your list a little bit more solid, but again, uh, that that people might forget to do that. You know, and if you really want to get this book in their hands, you may want to go single opt-in. And so, for our purposes, we want to go single opt-in here, and we're going to click save. Okay. From there, it's going to ask you what is the success page, and the success page is also the thank you page, right? Where is it that you want them to land after they go ahead and opt in? And this is where you'd wanna enter that information. Certainly if you had an external page, you could pop that in right here, or you can click a Kartra page. And if you remember from our previous video where we set up a thank you page for our ebook, okay, we'll be able to select it from this list. So Kartra pages, 
And we didn't set up a site just yet, so we got no site in particular. And then we can select our Kartra page, which is the download for ebook download page. This is where we want them to go after they fill out this form. So let's select that there and let's click save. And then save and next. Okay, you do have the option now here with the welcome to send out a welcome email. So again, if you wanted to program an email to go out, this would be one spot that you could do it. Um, you could also set up an email sequence uh, that will activate you know, once they fill out this form. Okay, so for now, we're not gonna set up a separate welcome email uh, for the ebook here. So we'll just click save and next. And now this is where you can do some automations. Okay, and so, and we did actually set up an email sequence that we're going to um, send to them uh, after they download this ebook. And so this would be where you'd wanna add any tags or add them to any particular list. So when they fill out the form, you can have it assign a tag, you can have it subscribe them to a list. You could even have it uh, subscribe them directly to a sequence. So for our purposes, we are going to assign a tag. Okay, and if you're, and again, in a previous video, we created a couple of tags for this. So I'm gonna click yes, assign a tag. Um, we got a tag category here. And then we're going to assign the downloaded and ebook tag. So that way they receive this tag, right? And if you remember, we, in a previous video, again, we set up an email sequence that would be activated when they receive this tag. So when they fill out the form, I want them to go into that email sequence. The tag is what's gonna do it. But then I also wanna have them on my primary email list. Okay, so let's yes, subscribe them to a list. And we have our alpha automation list, since that's the page that they're on or the business uh, that's giving away the lead magnet. Okay, and so that would be the primary list for that particular business. And I'm gonna click save. So when somebody fills out this form, they're gonna be added to that list and they're also gonna receive this tag, which is going to activate that particular email sequence that we set up. So let's go ahead and click save and next. The next step is the form design. Since we're gonna be hosting this form on a Kartra page, we don't have to do anything here, so we can go ahead and click save. Okay, and then save and next. And now we are good to go. Okay, so our form is now ready to go. So let's go ahead and add this form to the page. So over here on the left, go back to my pages. And here are the two pages that we set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the page here where we wanna add the form. Okay, and I'm gonna click edit, click dots, click edit. And then we are going to edit the page. And it's gonna load up our landing page for the uh, free ebook. Okay, so here's our landing page. And now what we wanna do is we want to change what happens when they click this button. Okay, so we're gonna hover the mouse over the button, click the uh, pencil here. And this is gonna load up all the different options that we can use for this button. So again, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Okay, we're gonna click where it says link over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this load up or it's gonna pop an opt-in form. Okay, now that we've created a form, we can go ahead and add that here. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So here you can pick out one of the designs that are available. We're just gonna pick out a simple one right here. We'll just grab this one and we'll drag it on here. So here's what the form will look like. And notice how it says placeholder in here, okay? Because you're gonna click this little pencil here and the form that we already created, that's gonna select uh, that we want their name and email, we're gonna click um, here where it says select opt-in form. And we have our downloaded ebook form that we just created that we want there. So you, you select the form that you want, you click apply. So we don't have to actually do anything to this part of it, okay? but we do want to adjust the text that's here, okay? So we can change this to, actually, let's go like this, just again, just to make it really, really simple. I, I'm gonna get rid of that little icon and I'm gonna change the text to say download. Download our free ebook now, <laughs> okay? And then uh, we're gonna edit here and let's say fill out the form below to gain instant access. Okay, just like that. Okay, and now for the button, you see how it says sign up? 
you can change what it says on the button right here by clicking uh, the pencil. And then you see where it says button, click that. And right there it says sign up, I'm gonna say. And, and I'm gonna change it and I'm just say give the Okay, give me instant access, right? Go ahead and click apply. And there we go, so this will be the form that pops on the page. So now I can click the X right here, I can click done right here, and then we gotta save it. So up here on actions, go to save progress. And then as well, we're gonna publish live. Okay, and now this page is now completely live. Here's the, here's the link to the page. And I'm gonna copy that and open it up in a new tab here, okay? Let's check it out. So here's our page, you know, live online, okay? And so yada yada, you know, download our free ebook. And then when someone's gonna come down here, they're gonna click the button and you'll see that it's gonna pull up the form, okay? Once they fill out the form, so it already preloaded, you know, my name and my email, and I'll click give me instant access. And then this is going to, just like we wanted it to, the form is going to bring them to the thank you page, just like we set up. Okay, so, so again, it brought us to our thank you page here. And so that's what we wanted. And then from there, you would have your download button right here um, once you have the file uploaded to Kartra. And let's just make sure everything else worked. Okay, so, cause again, the form, okay, that they filled out, uh, it did bring us to the correct page. So it did bring us to the uh, proper thank you page, but it was also supposed to add a tag, downloaded ebook, and it was also supposed to add them to a list, right? So let's verify that that happened. Okay, I opted in, so I should be a lead. So let's go ahead and click where it says leads and I'm back over here in my communication leads. And you can see the mic lead that we just popped in here. And I'm gonna give it a click. And again, this is your CRM. So this is gonna give you all the data of kind of what's going on with that particular lead. And so now it has the downloaded ebook tag right here. And if I click here where it says lists, we can see that it's also added them to this list. So the form worked. And so now um, here we had set up this email sequence that would be activated when somebody received the download free ebook tag. So I should have received an email uh, based on this tag. Because again, uh, this sequence was activated once somebody was assigned this particular tag. So this first email should have been sent out. Let's go ahead and check my Gmail just to verify it's there. And so here inside of my Gmail, okay, uh, you can see here is the email. Again, and we had set this up in a previous video, but here was the email that we had set up um, to receive. And it looks like I received that email. So the sequence worked. Um, so we're good to go. So hopefully you guys got value in this step-by-step -step and really just kind of showing you the nuts and bolts of how to wire this together to make sure everything works. And again, if you're looking to get started with Kartra, we were able to hook it up to where you get a $1, 14-day trial so you can get started using Kartra. It's a very powerful, powerful tool. And again, it's just so cool to have everything all in one place versus having to integrate and jump from program to program to make everything work. It can all be done right here inside of Kartra. So again, uh, we're showing you in the step-by-step -step series exactly how to set up an entire automated sales funnel. So there's a couple more things that I do wanna show you. We wanna set up a product, we wanna set up a membership website. I'm gonna show you how to do that in subsequent videos. Again, if you wanna take uh, give, give Kartra a try, click the link below this video. And again, you can get that $1 14-day trial for Kartra. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next training.